Hey, it's kind of a different review video. First of all, it's not a review. It's more of just some thoughts on Tim Seeley and the new title, Money Shot, out by Volt. Uh, I read the comics. I don't have them in front of me. So this is, but that's why I say it's not a review. It's more just some, some thoughts and some opinions uh, on Mr. Seeley and kind of the comic in general. So here goes. Hey there, this is Perch. Um, I, you know, I, I wanted to do, I started this video out as a, as a full on review. I had the comic in front of me. I was going to kind of go and put things out, but I wanted to do a different kind of review. And I'll do this from time to time about certain creators and maybe ideas for them or certain, certain directions that I wish things would go or could go. And in this case, we're talking about Tim Seeley. Now, Tim Seeley has done uh, it feels like a lot of work over the years. It doesn't feel like Tim Seeley is new to the industry because he's not. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> that's why it feels that way. Uh, but he's one of those kind of unique people who's done work for Marvel, for DC, for the indies. And he is, um, he's, not, uh, he's not a big name, but he's a big name. In, 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 meaning he's not, he's not a Scott Snyder. He's not a Tim Cook. Uh, he's... But he's he's known like if you say Tim Seeley in comic circles, everybody knows who that is. Uh, but he's he hasn't been somebody that the publishers at least have kind of you know jumped on with wholeheartedly and kind of endorsed and pushed as one of the top names. And he's got a new book out. He's done he did um, uh, Apocalypse and the Extracts. Uh, I want to say I, I, I the, those titles have all kind of blurred together, which is unfortunate. My my terrible memory, but um, he he has this new book, Money Shot, out. Why did I, sorry, he's done great work all over the place. I know why I landed on that one. Let me, let me go with the one uh, Age of X-Man uh, book that, <laughs> everybody, that, that, that series that everybody was pissed about before Hickman came on board. Um, anyway, no, so uh, he, he has this book, Money Shot, and the, the premise, and I'll start here, is basically that, you know, that intelligent life has, um, you know, come about, uh, that aliens have made contact with the earth, uh, went to go share the technology, very Star Trek kind of, you know, concept. Um, but then discovered that earth was a mess and kind of backed away quickly, if you will, but just, just like, nope, this is, uh, this, this, this planet is a, is a train wreck and kind of left it to its own devices at that point. And so knowing that there was intelligent life out there, there was, you know, more than just humans, then the, the scientists want to go out and explore. But unfortunately, the Earth and the government and just the people within it are a bunch of, uh, you know, have, have gone, I say kind of anti-science, but not, not anti-science, just more, uh, more a reflection of kind of the infighting and the nonsense and the nothing, nobody can get anything done. And just the, just the world has, has become, it's, it's like on... It's, it's it's between right now and idiocracy. It's final destination point. It's on like like the second quarter of that of that football game. Um, it's it's on its way. And so scientists who want to explore, who want to actually you you know go and get, but they can't get funding because the funding is going to stupid things or nobody's reading anything or any, whatever. They come up with an idea to crowdfund their science by basically going out into space and filming porn with the aliens and the creatures who are there. Uh, whatever they find, they're going to they're gonna screw it, is basically the, the concept. Um, I'm using nicer words in the comic world. At this point, I should probably say that, you know, this this comic money shot is not for children. It's, it, it has some nudity. It's got a lot of, you know, the, they're you know, openly talking about sex. And it's, um, but, but I, I think, it, you know, in, in terms of is it for you, I think if you're the kind of person who, you know, likes some humor in their comics, but also feels like the current brand of humor is all kind of the same. That somebody went and tried to photocopy Joss Whedon's quip, quip humor, you know, 800 times, and this is the photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy of Joss Whedon humor. Um, if that's how you feel current comic humor is, then, you know, this book might be for you because this is, you know, it, it, it reads original, it, it reads fresh, and the humor is different. So where, where, where does that lead us? Um, it, I, I think that if, 
I, I get, you know, moving kind of over to Tim Seeley for a minute. I, I think that the guy is very talented. I think that he has really good ideas and I think he, he comes with new things. The thing I've always complimented uh, Tim Seeley for, uh, and I think I've complimented this to him directly in person and in uh, on, on Twitterverse, which probably Tim Seeley's immediately going to know who I am from this comment, but he commits to the bit is probably the best way to put it. He, if he's handed uh, a script and some characters and just kind of a, a thing that needs to be done, he writes dialogue that sounds accurate. He creates situations with words and, and I mean, and it's just with the words and the pictures. No, but, but I mean, he, he writes what is happening. And, and I, I always say this terribly, I and mean, is this why everybody will know who I am? He he commits to the bit. If the bit is that Apocalypse is a super hippie and he has a bunch of kind of hippie free love mutants and they're going up against the anti love, you know, he commits and he he writes them in a unique, distinctive style that matches the story that he was paid to write or that he came up with. And I think that that's it's it it feels like a shame to compliment a writer for writing, you know, writing what is being asked. But increasingly, there's a problem, a big problem in comics where the, the stories and the characters and the situations do not sound authentic. It sounds like the writer has a way of writing and just kind of inserts their bubbles into everybody's mouth. This is my problem with, with, with Bendis. And I, I don't want to, you know, flatter one person by knocking another. That's not the, the, the deal. I think the, the, I guess I'm, well, I've, I've already opened up that door, but I, I the, the problem that I've had with Bendis's uh, street level hero stuff is that it feels like whether it's Lois Lane or whether it's Jessica Jones or whether it's the question or whether it's, um, you know, Maria Hill or, or any of these characters, they all sound the same. They all kind of talk the same. They all have the same kind of quick humor and they're all, they all, you couldn't like if the lights got turned out and you're just seeing word bubbles, you would have no idea who was talking because they're all talking the same. And I think Tim Seeley, and there's other writers who do this certainly, but the Tim Seeley, you could take all the art away and just leave the word bubbles there and you would know who was talking. And, and again, that sounds like such a low bar compliment, but I think the, the one of the best parts about comics is immersion. And if you can pull off immersion, then you're you're a good writer, you're a good creator. You're you're doing some some great work. And Tim Seeley, I think consistently from every book I read, he pulls off immersion. Now you may not like the story you're being immersed into, and that's a different story, but he does give you so he he gives you what what you would not what you expect but what you deserve is that is that the way to say it i, I don't know it just it, it put it this way if tim seeley was writing a book with deadpool and gambit and um deathstroke eh, this this book would never exist and uh rick grimes from the walking dead and i don't know miss piggy uh you would have the best team up of all t no you would have a you would have five characters who are talking like themselves. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have, and they would be reacting to the situation. So I think, I think Tim Seeley deserves a lot more credit. I'm hoping in the next decade of comics, we see more from him because he's, uh, he, he commits to the characters. He commits to the truth of the story that he's writing. And I think on top of that, so, I mean, I, to me, that's, that's like the, the biggest, you know, put it in bold, underlined praise that I can I could give, because so many don't do that, and and Seeley does, and I I respect him a lot for it. It's it's why I think he deserves a lot of praise for that is because you don't. It seems clear right now that in comics you don't have to do that. You don't have to do your research. You don't have to make the characters sound like themselves. You can do whatever you want. You can insert whatever language or, or talk. You, you can do whatever you want. And Seeley both respects what came before and makes the character sound authentic and unique at the same time. On top of that, praise number two uh, I would give him is he creates very cool, very different situations. And that back to money shot again. This comic is not going to be for everybody. Um, it, you know, if 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 
scientists going out to make money by having sex with aliens is not your thing. If that doesn't sound like your thing, it, it isn't your thing. Uh, but he, you know, it, title after title, Seeley throws out unique ideas and the comics are different. They're coming at they're they're He's putting out, you know, he's got it. What feels like an, an endless pit of really unique, really out there ideas. I think a lot of the big two writers, um, they, they will do some unique concepts and they'll have, you know, a good pitch or they'll do something that is, that is unique and good. But Seeley goes the whole mile. I mean, it, it is the book you are reading is one that you will not have read before and you, you are getting brand new. So if you are a fan or a reader or a comic, anybody who's been with comics for a long time, then I strongly recommend, you know, hunt out some of uh, Tim Seeley's books, check him out, follow him because you're going to get something you haven't read before. And that's, that's, unfortunately, that's, that, that's becoming increasing. The more you read, the more you read, you, you, you're going to eventually get overlapped. You're going to get stories that start to sound like themselves. Um, I will say that, you know, and I don't know if he'd have any interest, probably not, but if there's one writer that I would love to see take on Deadpool, it's Tim Seeley, uh, because I think we would get a, we would get, first of all, it would be interesting to see how he'd take all the different voices of the characters uh, up to this point. But I would love to see what he'd do with a character like that, because I feel like Deadpool, um, you know, maybe the Kelly Thompson book will be different, uh, but it feels like Deadpool's been treading water for some time of having kind of the same situations, the same kind of same kind of adventures, same kind of it, it just it, it started to blur. And I'd like to see a completely different, completely off the wall take on the character, but still with somebody who could, you know, write the character authentically. So I, I would just say, I'd love to see that. I also like to see on the other end of the spectrum, but not, I'd love to see Tim Seeley take Deathstroke uh, after Christopher Priest is done with him. I'd love to see what that looks like too, because again, I think that would be a, I, I just, I, I want to see Seeley on more books because I want to see somebody who's going to respect what's come before with character's voice, but bring something new with that character. I think that would be pretty cool. But anyway, um, that's it for me. Let's see. Uh, other things on Money Shot, you know, there is some nudity in the book. Light, uh, you know, considering it's a book about you know, space porn, um, it is, the nudity is light. Um, it's not graphic. It's not anything like that. If you are um, uh, religious, this isn't going to offend you of, of um, uh, in terms of the sensibilities of what's going on in the book. It's, it's, um, it, it's you know, it, it, it is what it is. It, it delivers what it promises. Uh, it is, you know, a group of scientists who get themselves into wacky adventures and do crazy things in space uh, while trying to film porn with aliens to make money to hopefully, you know, fund their research. And I have no idea how long this comic is going to go for, but it's it's a cool concept. And congrats to Seeley for bringing it. Anyway, there you go. That's my little, uh, that's my sales pitch for Tim Seeley. He has not paid anything for this video. And we'll, I, I can say with 99% certainty, he will never hear it. <laughs> but, uh, but hey, if you are out there, uh, thank you for the entertainment. I, I appreciate that. Others, uh, do you like the guy? Are there other creators who are like this that you'd like to give a shout out to or maybe have me focus on? Leave a comment below. I'd be happy to do it. And um, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Comic Perch, and thanks for listening.